you. Haven't seen you around in a while. How have you been? Yeah? Well, I'm glad you found the time to come back and visit me. I've missed you. Of course I have. I always enjoy it when you come by. You're fun to talk to. You have excellent taste in literature. Hey, I will sell books of all kinds, just to see people reading more. But it makes me happy when customers choose really good ones. And you always do. So, yeah, definitely one of my favorite readers. Aw, oh, I bet you say that to all the booksellers in town. <laughs> Is there anything in particular you're looking for today? Um, I can check the latest shipment. I haven't fully unpacked the box yet, but it might be in there. I know we were expecting at least a few copies. Oh, I just remembered I put something aside for you. Yep, yeah, just in case. Hang on, it's right... here. Look, it's an early edition. Not a first edition, but you know, those are really rare. This is slightly less rare, but still not the easiest to find. What do you think? I know, right? And it's in such good condition. It must have just languished on someone's shelf for decades. I'm so glad it made its way here, though. I wanted to be sure you had a chance to see it before I put it out for sale, just in case you were interested. Haha, <laughs> nice try, but it's not your birthday yet. If you want it, you have to buy it. But don't worry, I'll give you a good deal. Very reasonable price for a book this nice. Mm-hmm, you think about it then, but don't wait too long. You're not the only person who comes in here looking for this sort of thing. I can't play favorites too much. <laughs> I mean, maybe you're my favorite, but I'll never tell. You gonna look around some? Sure, go ahead, browse a bit. I have some restocking to do, so... You're fine. Enjoy the ambiance. I know you love it. I love it, too. You know, the tall shelves, the smell of books, the general vibe. It's such a comfy thing. It feels like home. Do you know, I wanted to work in a bookstore when I was little, and now I have my own. I know it's not a huge deal or, like, on the same level as being rich and famous, but it's honestly perfect for me. I've never been happier in my life, so, yes, enjoy the ambiance. I work hard to make it nice. Oh, you have no idea. I have to make sure the wood is all polished, I have to put just the right amount of dust in the vintage section, and I have to make sure it's warm and cozy, but not too warm and cozy. It's a balancing act, one that takes a lot of planning and skill. Hey, you're getting a glimpse behind the curtain here. I'm sharing trade secrets. <laughs> But I won't be telling you any more. The rest is super private, known only to booksellers of a particular sort. Oh, it's a whole thing, like a secret society. We have meetings every Thursday. It's like a book club on steroids. <laughs> I'm teasing, but no more sneak peeks at how the sausage is made. Just enjoy the magic. Wow, that was one really mixed metaphor. I'll be over there, restocking in the astrology section. What? What do you need? Right now? Oh, the, the bathroom is for employees only. There's one down the street at the burger place you can use. No, I, I can't... How big an emergency are we talking? Um, well... Yeah, okay, just go. But don't tell anyone I let you do this. Not gonna make a habit of it. Yeah, straight back through there, second door on the left. But don't open any other doors. Just go and come right back, okay? Okay, then. I'll be right here. Mm -hmm. Let's just... Hey, what are you doing? Close that. I said second door on the left, not... None of your business. Get out of there. Don't, don't touch anything. I said it's none of your business. I thought you were going to the bathroom. You're not supposed to be in here. Can you not follow simple instructions? I don't know what you're talking about. This door should have been locked anyway. You shouldn't have even been able to get in here. Yeah, well, doesn't matter now. I guess that's my fault. 
You really are an idiot, you know that? Second door, left. No, just... <sighs> Look, I know we're sort of friends and I really like you, but this has nothing at all to do with you. You should go. How about we just say I'm a magician and this is where I keep all my props and stuff. Of course some of them levitate, that's how magic works. Look, there's glowing stuff too, more parlor tricks. And the window... Actually, don't look out the window. Because something will probably be looking back. Never mind. I'm sure if you Google it, there's a perfectly logical explanation for everything you're seeing. But a magician never reveals her secrets, right? So I'm not going to talk about it, and you're going to leave. God. Okay. Nope, put your phone away. What the hell? Here, sit down. Unless you're about to explode from not going to the bathroom. Right. I get it. It's a shock. A lot of shocks, probably. Just take a breath, okay? Nothing to freak out about. No, I mean it. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a few things, and you're going to listen, and then we're going to figure out what to do next, okay? Okay. So, there are layers to the reality that we know. There's a mundane world. That's the world outside here, where you live, and where the books are, and all that. And then there's the less mundane world, which is where these things are from. Call it the other place. Because it really doesn't have a name, it's just the other place, the place that isn't here. Hmm? Oh, the pillow. That's Phoenix down. Very soft, right? Also fire resistant, which is a nice touch. I know, it's... Nope. Getting off track. So the other place. That's where I'm from. It's a lot like the mundane world, only with a few more magical things going on. And this room is sort of my bridge between the two. It exists in both worlds, so I can come and go as needed. Gotta make sure I can be here to run my shop and all that. You following me so far? Good. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but if you can just accept that there are two realities sort of coexisting, it gets easier. It's just that one of them you don't really see. Because it's not your world. It's not your reality. Sort of like other dimensions or other universes. There are a lot of theories about this, actually. Real scientific ones. Make sense? So, yeah, what you're seeing is real, but it's also not something you were supposed to see. None of my world is supposed to be experienced by this world. No, none of it. You're not supposed to, like, see that tree on the shelf with the tiny griffin sleeping in it. Of course they're real. No, don't touch, they bite hard. Think of like the meanest parrots you ever knew. I like them, I think they're cute. I just wear a gauntlet when I feed them. Or like that bowl of planets on the table. Everything scales, sweetness. They're real planets in a real solar system in real space, sort of. Again, don't touch at all. Those I'm writing a paper about observing the evolution of life forms on the green planet there. I do a little light astrobiology on the side. Keeps my brain sharp. Anyway, those are just examples, but nothing in here was really something you should have ever known existed. It's a risk, I'll grant you. Crossover spots like this don't happen very often, and even more rarely on purpose. The only reason I'm allowed to even have this shop in your world is because I pulled a few strings and called in a few favors. Otherwise, I'd just be running some sad little herb shop in my own little village back home. Which, some people might think that sounds fun, but for me it sounded boring. This is so much better. I love the books, I love the work, I love the people who come in. It's my dream job, like I told you. This is where I want to be. Assuming I can keep doing it after this. Anyway, you good? Still with me? You seem to be taking this pretty well. Or maybe you're just in shock. That's probably more likely. Is there anything I didn't answer so far? Me? Oh, like powers, that sort of thing? Don't worry, I'm not dangerous. I'm still me, still exactly the same as you already knew, mostly. I mean it. I don't have a wand or a broomstick or anything like that, if that's what you're thinking. What you think of as magic isn't something people just have in them to use whenever they want, but... 
there are things I can do. I don't think I'm explaining this very well. Um, the things in my world that are special don't tend to be people. They're objects, arcane words, even animals. The people are just the wielders, like conduits. Some better than others. And I'm not very good, I'll be honest. I've never had any aspirations to be. I just want my books and my quiet life. Um, okay, I'll show you something. How about this rock? See this rock? Don't touch, just look. Looks like a regular rock, right? Okay, keep watching. There we go, a nice hover. This rock has inclusions of a mineral that lets me make it defy gravity when I want it to. Not forever, but for a while. I'm the conduit that the magic moves through, so to speak. I'm oversimplifying, but you get the idea. It's really useful when I'm trying to dust or when I need to put something at eye level to study it without hunching my back. Oh, the conduit part? No, doesn't hurt at all. Tingles a little, but that's it. I'm not blowing out any circuits by doing this, don't worry. I mean, it can, but we're not going to get into that. So, that's my story. I'm not from around here, and I've brought some of my world with me. And now you've seen it, and I need to figure out what to do. Well, there are some options, but all of them sort of lead to the same place. You're not allowed to know about this, or about me. You're just... not. What? No. What, what the hell? Are you kidding me? I'm not going to kill you. Jeez, what do you take me for? I like you, remember? I like you a lot, honestly. Which is why this is so annoying for me. I don't know why you couldn't just go through the right door. <sighs> okay, let me think. What? What is that face for? You look almost depressed. Well, scared and depressed. Oh, you... You think I have to... With your memory. I see. Um, that's a possibility, I won't lie, but I really, really don't like doing memory stuff. It's delicate work, and it also feels kind of gross, like I'm taking away your agency to some degree. You experienced this, for better or worse, and it feels wrong to take that from you. But if I'm honest, I might have to. I'm sorry. Believe me, I want to trust you. I want that very much. But in the past, in other situations, trusting people from your world with the secrets of our world, it hasn't gone well at all. Like, not a single time. People here have a really hard time keeping secrets. And some are just looking for ways to get rich or get famous. Not that we don't have people like that in my world, but still. If even one time there was a crossover situation where someone here knew about my world and was able to handle that in a good way... I'd say it's an option, but every time it fails, every time the person from here blows our cover and screws a bunch of stuff up. So the idea of taking that risk, like I said, I want to trust you. I really enjoy your company, and I hate the thought of making you forget me. Well, yeah, you'd forget all of it, the shop, everything. All of it's tied together in your neural net so it all gets scrubbed. Human brains are funny things, you know? So much is connected to so much else. For you, the sever point is my bookshop. Hard stop. I... I know. You wouldn't miss me, though. You wouldn't remember anything at all. You'd go about your life, happy and perky, and have zero idea that I exist. But I would miss you. A lot. I'm not exactly allowed to be selfish. That's gone wrong too many times before. Just, hey, here, take my hand. It's okay, it's safe, just take it. No matter what happens, you'll be okay. I'll make sure of it. You'll be safe and comfortable, understand? Good, you want a cup of tea? I mean, if I'll be wiping your memory anyway, we might as well take a minute, have some tea, and chat. Doesn't that sound nice? And maybe while we sip our tea, I can try to come up with alternative solutions to our situation. Literally anything else at this point. Ugh, this is not how I wanted to spend my day. 
Oh, the shop? It's okay. The back soon sign goes up every time I come into this room, and the door locks. No one can come in. We're fine back here for now. I suspect I won't be doing much book selling today anyway. It's okay. You didn't mean to. I'm just... Let's get to know each other a little bit better. How's that? You and me. A nice little talk over tea. And then we can see what's next. Good. You look a little more comfortable, at least. I'll tell you lots of things about my world, but first let's get the tea started. How do you take yours? Awesome. Let me get that started, and while I do that, why don't you go to the bathroom? I think this is going to be a while. Hey, sweetness. Shout out to this audio's randomly selected sweetness patron, Glass. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making this channel possible. If you like my audios, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and check out the links in the description for all the ways you can support me, including my awesome Patreon. Thanks for listening.